I'm a huge fan of your editing style. I love editing, which comes across as organic and kind of like subtle, but at the same time, being an editor, I can appreciate the amount of work that goes into finding just the right cut um, for each of the 24 lights that you installed on the ceiling of your shop. So just using that as an example of like, uh, the amount of time you put into editing and how did, is that self-taught as well? And what do you use for, for your editing? Yeah, that, that's totally self-taught. I played around with various short film, I don't even call them short films, but like stop motion animation and stuff in early college. And I was using a pirated version of Final Cut Pro. And at some point it became a bib boy and actually bought it. Okay. And that's what I still use to this day is Final Cut Pro. But the editing style you're talking about, that evolved because I was trying to find a way to film projects that would be interesting and also it would be entertaining and captivating, keep you watching, but also show exactly what I'm doing. And that makes it a little bit harder to film, but I think the payoff is worth it because there are some YouTube channels out there that if they're showing work being done, they'll just set a, ca a camera way off to the side and they'll show it as a time lapse with music. And you don't really see anything that's happening. And I wanted to not be that. So I came up with this, well, after much experimentation, I came up with this way of, just analyzing the waveforms and any interesting sound that happens, I just encapsulate that and I just slam a bunch of those together and that's the work being done. I don't know if I'm explaining that correctly. You're explaining it perfectly and it makes it sound like it's just like, hey, I slap it together, but I know what it's like when you're scrubbing through <laughs> frame by frame, trying to find the right moment and you have to do that you know four times oh, for yeah. each of the lights and then 24 times so it just becomes that ends up becoming a labor of love but it ends know. up it is the secret sauce you see the top comments in all of the videos where you took five hours to put into editing this one 30 second bit and everybody kind of notices so. yeah i love that and I, I can't stop doing it now because no now you've set now now the bar has been set yeah, <laughs> yeah. it's like what happened i miss old robert <laughs> I don't get any of that. I am currently old Robert. <laughs> yeah, it's the the editing that draws me into those videos because if you are presenting that same information on here's my Trabant, here is my, you know, weird little electric car and in a, just a straightforward manner, I probably wouldn't watch the entire thing because it's not a subject that interests me until you make it interesting for somebody who's not interested in this stuff. And I think it's all because of the way you present it and the, the editing. Those two things come together to make these a fantastic, a fantastic video. Well, thank you. I started, it's not so much like this anymore, but I started my YouTube channels and my editing style based on a position of cynicality. If I'd see anything that was even mildly boring that other channels would do, I would avoid that like the plague. I tried to come up with my own style that was as engaging as possible. Was there anybody who was really inspiring early in the day? Like, uh, who are the YouTubers that you kind of like look to to be like, uh, I always look forward to watching their videos? I don't know about early in the day because it just sort of floated all over the place. But now, definitely, I like the channels that have really high editing. I think you've mentioned Frank Howarth. Mm-hmm. In the past, Frank Howarth, This Old Tony, those are two that stand out in my head. Uh, there's a channel in England called Bad Obsession Motorsports. They're working on a Mini Cooper, and their presentation style is incredible. I I can't even put into words really what makes them so special. I think it's their special brand of humor. Their, I mean, their editing's good, but their presentations, it's two of them, and they bounce off of each other very well. They have their own inside jokes. And, they deliver the information that they're trying to deliver very well. And it's just entertaining to watch. 